welcome to or back to my channel. So today I'm back with a super exciting video. As you can tell from the title and thumbnail, today I'm gonna be apartment hunting, looking for apartments, touring apartments. Super, super exciting. I literally love these types of videos. So I'm really excited for this and to share this with you guys. If you just clicked on my channel, my name is Emily. I make a variety of fashion and vlog content. So definitely check out my channel. Subscribe if you're not subscribed. Turn on the notification bell. Follow me on Instagram at emilygrace.26. Thumbs up if you like these types of videos and you'd like to see more apartment content on my channel. As you're watching this video, comment below which apartment is your favorite because I'm super curious. Let's just go ahead and get into it. Before I actually get into touring the apartments and showing you the ones that I looked at, I did want to give you a little bit of background information of why I'm touring apartments, the current apartment I live in, and kind of like what I'm comparing these to. As you're watching this, you can kind of like compare with me, I'm kind of deciding if I want to renew my lease or pick one of these new ones instead. On this exact time last year, I moved into my very first apartment. I'll link my moving vlogs and apartment playlist if you guys want to see the whole process. I'll link it here. When I toured apartments for the first time, I didn't really look at a lot of them because I wasn't really planning to move. I just kind of was looking for fun. I was just kind of thinking about moving. I just kind of looked at a few sort of close by. I live in Kansas City and I am in more of a suburban area. I don't live like in the city. I just looked at a few kind of outside of the city. So I was touring, I found one that I just absolutely loved and I signed a lease for it and I didn't really look any further. As my lease is coming to an end, I just wanted to see like what else is out there since I didn't really look at a ton to start with. I didn't even tour any in the city, so I just kind of wanted to see what the ones in the actual city looked like. That is what I'm gonna be doing in this video, mainly touring some downtown, take you guys along with. So what I'm looking for in kind of like my current dilemma, the apartment I live in right now has an attached garage. So I'll show you a clip from my apartment tour so you can kind of see what I'm talking about. I literally have a garage attached to my apartment. A lot of places will say they have attached garage, but they're not like really attached in the way that this one is. Um, so I literally will pull into my garage and I'm in my unit. It's so convenient, especially in the winter time when it's really cold. It's really convenient when I'm out taking Instagram pictures and I have a bunch of clothes and stuff in my car. I can just leave it there when I'm tired at nighttime. I literally love it. This complex feels super homey. It like literally feels like little houses. I literally have no complaints whatsoever. The management, the maintenance, everybody is so nice. I literally love everything about this apartment. The the only thing that I really would say that I'm missing is that I love like the aesthetic windows. Like I love like big windows, tons of lighting, aesthetic kind of like views with like kind of like a city view. I love that and you don't really get that kind of in more of a suburban outside of the city area. I don't really have that in my apartment now. Like it's a really great apartment but there's not anything like overly aesthetic about it. I did kind of want to look at some downtown and see if I can find one that kind of has a lot of the things that my apartment has, but it's also super aesthetic. Just kind of want to see what is out there. But like I said, I would have to find one that's really, really amazing in order to give up my garage because I literally love it so much. I'm also close to all of the places I go, my friends, family. The downtown area isn't super far, but it is a little bit inconvenient to be constantly coming back and forth. That is just some things to think about. Definitely let me know what you guys would do if you were in my position, and I'll definitely let you know in future vlogs what I decide. So I'm mainly touring downtown ones just to see if I can get the aesthetic that I'm looking for, but also I love the safety and convenience of my garage. I'm somebody that gets really nervous parking in parking garages, parking and walking across like a parking lot by myself at nighttime. Also the rent outside of the city is a little bit better than inside of the city, obviously. So my rent here is really good. Another thing to consider, my sister just moved into a new apartment in her college town. She has had some major, major issues with like the management, like cleanliness, tons of issues. And I feel like if you have something good, you should stick with it. Also, this is a new apartment, so I'm only the second tenant living in this unit. Lots and lots of pros of where I'm currently living. That is kind of hard to leave. Just a little background info before we get into the ones that I'm touring. This is like what I'm comparing them to. With that being said, let's just go ahead and get to the apartment hunting. Apartment one, the first apartment that I looked at was in kind of like the heart of downtown. It's very close to a lot of popular things. It's very close to our main and most popular venues. Any concert in Kansas City is going to be at this main venue. You can see it like outside of the window. Our most popular aesthetic coffee shop is super close to hear lots of good things very nearby so yeah it's kind of in like the heart of downtown first unit i looked at was 1723 1200 plus square feet a bigger one bedroom two bath it was so aesthetic i'm gonna get to the amenities later but the actual unit was so aesthetic it was just so nice so it was kind of an interesting layout so when you first walk in the entryway area and kind of like the layout was a little bit 
funky, but there was a bathroom kind of like in the entryway area. So that would be really good for guests. The living area is super nice, very, very aesthetic. I love the finishes of the cabinets and the counters. I love like the white counters. Beautiful big windows with a really nice view and little ledges. Love the aesthetics. Very open living area. There is a unit laundry. The bedroom, super, super big. It's almost like two bedrooms in one bedroom because it was so big. So I could almost have like my room on in half the room and then kind of like an office filming area on the other side of the room. Lots of lighting and windows in the bedroom. I feel like the closet was like average. And then there was a bathroom in the bedroom. I loved all the space. 1200 plus square footage is a lot. I think right now my apartment's like eight or 900. This would be a very good apartment. So I have some pros and cons. For pros, very, very aesthetic interior. I literally just love everything about how this looks. I love the windows. This apartment is just like all of the Pinterest aesthetic and gold. It does have in-unit laundry, so that is a pro. It has great lighting in both the living area and the bedroom, so that is a pro. It has a great view, it has good closet storage, a huge bedroom, um, so it's big enough for kind of like an office within the bedroom. So for cons, there's no balcony. You also can't open the windows, so I didn't even think about the fact that this is so high up that you actually can't open the windows. Since I work from home, I like to open the windows during the day and just get fresh air in, especially during the spring, summer, fall. I would consider the parking situation to be like a negative or a con. They have a few different options, and I can't remember them all, to be honest, but I know Know that one of the options was across the street they had like a gated lot that you can only access with like the fob I still have to walk across the street and into the building at night by myself and i would not feel super safe doing that also i wouldn't be able to leave anything in my car they do have like an attached parking situation um it's basically like an underground parking garage three month wait and i think it's 150 dollars a month and it's still like a parking garage and then also the price that's a lot of money i could actually get a house for that much and then also we have to talk about the amenities so this complex did have a lot of really great amenities. This building is 21 stories with a rooftop pool. I think it's the highest rooftop pool in Kansas City. They also did a lot of events there. The event sounded really fun, really cool. Like they were going to do an event on the rooftop with like watching Home Alone and something. I don't remember what else, but it sounded really fun. But I do have a friend that lives there, so we could go to the events together and I would have somebody there. There's also like a little work area, like a work from home area with a coffee bar and it's on the top Floor. I feel like there were definitely more amenities. So that is everything for apartment one. Apartment two is actually within that exact same complex. The second unit I looked at was a one bedroom, one bath. This one was 1435 to 1550 plus the parking and it's 790 square footage. For the layout, it was a very standard layout. I kind of like walk in, you've got like your bedroom to the left, you kind of keep walking forward and you've got like your kitchen and kind of like living room area sort of open. So very standard. There was like enough room and kind of like a nook for some kind of desk in the entryway, which is nice. This one is definitely smaller, but still really cute, very aesthetic. The same kind of like finishes and everything. So super cute, still a lot of really good lighting. The bedroom was a little bit smaller and this one had a really good sized closet. You can get to the bathroom separately or through the bedroom. Some pros and cons of this specific unit, complex, Pros and cons are the same as before, obviously, because it's in the same place. The pro would be that's very aesthetic. I love like the finishes, great lighting, great windows, great view. The only cons about this specific unit is that there's no window in the bedroom. I think I would be limited to filming anything content related. I would be limited to only doing it in the living area which would be pretty difficult. So I think I'd have to go with the first unit if I were to move into this complex. I feel like the door to the bedroom is kind of weird. It's kind of like a barn door type of situation. So with the second one, I feel like there's not enough of a price difference for the amount of square footage that you're losing. I think I'd go with the first one, although the price is pretty steep. That is the first complex that I looked at. So moving on to apartment number three. This one is located in the River Market area of Kansas City. This area is super, super popular. It's a really fun area on the weekend. Lots of other restaurants and coffee shops and stuff as well. I looked at a one bedroom, one bath. It was $1,400, 674 square feet. Not sure if that's the one I toured or the one that's available. The one that's actually available has higher ceilings. It's on the top floor. The layout for this one is actually very, very similar to my apartment now. This apartment is super, super cute, but I feel like to me it almost wouldn't even be worth moving because a lot of the reason I would want to move would be more for aesthetic reasons really to like be changing the look. The living area is super open and then you've got the balcony kind of like to the right. I really like the look of the kitchen. It's like all white, super aesthetic, very clean looking. The bedroom is kind of like to the right. The actual setup and size of the bedroom 
same as mine now. How you kind of like walk into the back, like literally everything is the same. I did notice that the closet is super small in this one. Like you can get to the bathroom from the bedroom or separately from the living area. There's also like a little entryway nook, like little cabinets and shelving kind of like right in the entryway, which I thought was a nice little detail. Okay, so now for the pros and cons. Pros, there is a huge, huge balcony, like actually double the size of my balcony now. I was actually really shocked, especially for downtown. This apartment complex isn't like super high rise building. Building. So um, I think it only goes up to like the fourth or fifth floor. So you do get windows that actually open I feel like the area that it's in is also a pro the river market area is very popular the negatives of this apartment It's not like super super bright lighting, especially after touring the first one It didn't seem like really really bright or anything like I feel like I wouldn't be really gaining anything from my current apartment like it's just kind of almost seems like the same. Another negative is the small closet. From like the inside, you're not like getting that really cool window view. The parking situation is kind of similar to the first one. Honestly, I kind of got confused because there were a lot of different options as far as parking. This apartment had a lot of really cool amenities. I feel like all these apartments actually had really, really cool amenities, but this one had a lot of little work areas. I have like that Amazon package, like locker thing. They had this really cool lounge area. I feel like it was on one of the top floors and you had like these little umbrella things, like really cool lounge chairs, fire pit. They had some different gyms. I don't remember what it looks like, but I feel like there was definitely a pool. So that is apartment number three. So next up, apartment number four. This one was located in the Power and Light District of Kansas City. I'm not super familiar with this area, but I believe it's kind of like the party area of Kansas City, like the nightlife, I think. I toured a one bed, one bath. The rent is $17.44 and it's $7.44 square footage. It's 2,000 with utilities. As far as the layout, I thought it was a little bit weird. It just seemed kind of small. I think it's because of the concrete walls, kind of like industrial vibe, that it felt kind of small. It had like the big floor to ceiling windows. Like the actual complex itself had amazing amenities, but the actual unit itself, I was not a huge fan of. The bedroom was kind of off to the side and then the bathroom was across from the bedroom. The whole place seemed kind of dark even though it had like really big windows so the pros and cons the pros you get a gym membership for free and i think it was like a really popular cool gym and there's also a grocery store attached which is really super convenient the parking situation seemed maybe a little bit better or maybe i was just getting more used to it as we kept touring them it was like a parking garage attached to the building kind of like underneath and you just go to the parking garage and there's like an elevator and you just go up to your floor still not a huge huge fan of that coming from my attached garage which just feels super safe and convenient i literally hate parking garages so not a huge fan of the parking garages but i do like this better than parking in a lot and walking to the building very cool amenities which i'm going to tell you about in just a second overall the complex itself was just super bougie so the negatives i already kind of said this but it's a little bit dark just not my general style also the area it's in i feel like i it's not really my lifestyle. It didn't feel super homey compared to the complex I live in now. Just didn't check all of my boxes. I don't mean to like hate on this one. It was actually, this was the one I was the most excited to tour. Amenities, this one had the coolest amenities by far. The pool was super cool. I don't know if I vlogged this cause I felt weird like vlogging the pool. There was like a whole like bar area and like little huts that you could like rent out on the weekends. It will have like people bring drinks and food to your little hut that you rented out. Um, cause they have like a full staff. The pool itself, just the whole area was really cool. It was all like green. I had like this whole green space. So the whole thing was like kind of green. It was kind of like on the roof. It was cool. It wasn't like on the roof, but it was at the top kind of. There's also this whole area it was like a work from home area with like a bunch of like couches and it was like very open with like flowy little curtains. There's like a whole other area with like tons and tons of wine and they do like wine tastings and I don't know. It was like on another level. There was also this whole theater room, a gym. I mean like amenities on amenities on amenities. Those are all the apartments that I toured downtown. There is actually one more that I toured, but I did not get a lot of very good clips. So I'm just going to like briefly talk about it. The last one I toured, apartment number five, is actually within the complex that I'm currently living in. I just wanted to see a two bedroom. So I'm currently living in a one bedroom, one bath. And I just kind of wanted to see what a two bedroom would look like. I looked at a two bedroom, two bath. There's a couple different floor plans of a two bedroom, two bath. The one that I actually like the most is very similar to the layout of my apartment now. It's just kind of like very open and then there's like a bedroom 
and a bedroom. That one there's actually a wait list for. That one costs a little bit less than the other two bedroom floor plan, which is the one I looked at because that one was actually available to look at. The rent is $1,700. The one that's not available that I would have to get on a wait list for, I wanna say is like $1,600. The one I toured is 1,220 square feet. The wait list one is 1,143 square feet. That's a lot of space. So I would be going up from like, I think I'm at 800 or 900 right now. The layout is very similar to my layout right now. The kitchen is just a little bit different. I know the kitchen living room is just kind of like a big square. Kitchen is just kind of like in the, if you cut the square in half, like a triangle. And the living room is kind of like on the other half. And there's also kind of like a bookshelf built into the wall. Island is more round shaped. I'm not describing this very good. The aesthetics and looks of it would be the same. I would get a bigger garage than I have now, just slightly. The bedrooms are really good size. Two really, really good size closets. The closets were bigger than any of the other ones I toured. I'm familiar with the complex. I already really like everything about this complex. I have no complaints with like the management, the maintenance or anything like that. Love the garage. Good lighting in the rooms. For the price, I would be getting a lot more space rather than a one bedroom downtown. With that space, I could have like an office room and I could have like more filming space. So I'm not always like filming in my bedroom where I'm like crammed in the corner trying to film outfit videos. Like I just have so much crammed in my room. So it'd be nice to have a second room for all of my filming and editing and desk and all that kind of stuff. The second closet would be really, really nice as well because I feel like I never have enough closet space. If I had two bedrooms, they would both have like windows and everything so I'd have really good lighting rather than like a den. Typically like dens don't have any windows. I would also have a balcony and windows that can open. My balcony would also be double the size of the one I have now and I would still be close to my family and in the area that I like. So I feel like there's definitely a lot of pros to that. The cons of the two bedroom at this complex is that there's really no aesthetic looking windows, like the really cool downtown view. The actual apartment itself isn't like anything crazy aesthetic. Like that first one, I feel like it's just like super, super stunning. The floor plan I like isn't currently available, so I don't know how long I would have to wait to do the other floor plan, but it's more expensive. That is some pros and cons. I think that is everything for this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed. Definitely give it a big thumbs up if you did. Comment down below which apartment you would choose or if you would just stay here in the one bedroom. I will say my rent is a lot lower than those. Definitely subscribe if you're not subscribed. Turn on the notification bell. Follow me on Instagram at onlygrace.26. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye.